Hello and welcome to the new Power BI tutorial video and in this video I want to show you how you can count the values of a column regardless of filter. So think about a scenario that you have a filter however you want to remove the impact of the filter on this count so that you know if there is a need that uh, you want to show it this value statically then you can show it by removing the impact. And this type of a consideration or this type of a requirement is when you know you need to show a value which is impacted by filter compared with overall value like we do it in a dashboard. So this is something I will show you in my next uh, tutorial as well the the use of this where I will be showing you the financial performance dashboard and the link and, and it will be present here along with the link which which is my plan for the next video. Uh, where you see the use case of this in a more detail but here I want to show you at least the functionality about it and before that a quick information that uh, this sheet which you are seeing right now is a live google sheet and the link is present in the description which you can jump to it directly search any of my video uh, that I have posted so far on the power bi and keep it with you as a bookmark because as it is a live sheet it will going to have all of my future videos as well along with the title of the video as well as the link which is present in the column B. So that way searching and uh, finding a video can become easy or you can create your own playlist or you can arrange let's say you want to view only tax related videos you can view tax you want to see any visualization related videos and things like those all of that is present over here. Okay with that let me move on to the Power BI. So what do I have? I have uh, a table, okay, and uh, let's say we have this, uh, we have this, what do you call, two things, uh, we have multiple filters and values, and uh, for this scenario, uh, what we will going to use is basically, uh, let's say two different KPIs, so we have this KPI, okay, KPI card KPI, this is the one, where I am showing the sales, very simple, right? This is the overall sales, 2.3 million dollars. All right. Now, what do I have? It's let's say filter, right? Very simple scenario. And we have what category? So here is the category, right? So we have furniture, right? And uh, we have office supplies and we have technology. So the value is being filtered based on what we are selecting, right? Now, Let's say we have a requirement where we want to see the filtered value and compare it with the total value. Okay, what is our total value? Total value is 2.3 million. That means we need to get an object which is not taking the impact of the filter. And for that, we need to create a separate calculation or a separate measure where we will going to eliminate the impact of filter. So for that, what I'll do is create a new measure and we will call it sales without filter right sales w o filter w is nothing but without just a short form and here we will going to write the calculate expression will be sum of sales right and then we will going to use the one function which is all except and so all except what it is says is it returns all the rows in a table except for those rows that are affected by specified column filters right so basically this will going to remove the impact the all except function will going to remove the impact based on the column we will going to specify on that so uh, here first we need to specify the table which is orders and on what column we want to remove we want to remove it on the sales column so we don't want filter is accept, uh, impacting the sales and we remove this or oh, sorry close this and close this once we close this and click ok a new field is created here for that i will going to create a new measure and i will say that sales without filter again 2.3 million and 2.3 million now this one is having the filter impact and this one is not having the filter impact so now if we try to run this furniture 
you see this this is impacted but or office supplies it is impacted but it is same so that means you can now compare actual value you can create ratio or whatever you want can you can create that particular uh, calculation because one is static and one is relevant to what your filter is changing also if you have let's say multiple filters as well for example if i just click outside and i create one more filter and let's say i add region right so office supplies is already selected so we don't have an impact of this let's select one region central so you see value is reduced but the main value is same right now you may have a requirement or or scenario like um, you know this is this is what it is changing but for region you know you should take an impact or you should not take an impact i mean it can be as complex as it can be based on what you are producing but my idea is you know from the normal filter from the normal values which is impacted by filter at least you take one step ahead where you can create a calculation like this one which is based on the calculate what it is doing it is removing the impact of filter so that's mainly i wanted to show you one of the implementation i will going to do this in in one of my next dashboard which um, i will be showing you maybe in the next video with that thank you so much and i'll meet you in that dashboard video now